98Q, Dan Perry's hit music station, Maroon 5, 710. Sunny today and 57, trying to get out of the 30s. We're at 39 right now. So uh, Zoe and Jeff Butchin in the studio here talking about the uh, Dance Shake Donate and uh, everything surrounded with that Taylor Swift song. We've been telling you about it for a while. Talk to Zoe here. Okay, now, Zoe, you're going to have to give the mic. Uh, <laughs> I want to talk to your dad. Just for a little bit here. So, uh, Jeff, uh, good to have you in here. Welcome to 98Q. I'm doing great. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. You know, you know, Zoe, you just gave her some news during that last song about uh, she thought it was approaching $20,000. You guys are over twenty. we We're over $20,000. Wow. That's excellent. Yeah. That's a, a lot of people coming together doing the uh, doing the dance, the shake, the donate uh, dance, doing the video and everything. We, we encourage you to go to the website as well, danceshakedonate.com. All the info there, how you can donate. Now, now I want you to take us back, if you will. Um, you know, you and your wife had to sit down with uh, Zoe, with your son as well, basically have the discussion about uh, Parkinson's. How did that go? It, it was it was nerve wracking because we weren't sure at what point it was appropriate to tell the kids, and mm -hmm. um, we sat down one I think it was a Sunday morning and just let them know and uh, just felt it was time for them to understand what was going on, and the the original reaction and emotions were high, and then everybody settled in, <laughs> and it's been actually really okay. Um, we're dealing with it, and it's something that you can deal with. It's it's not a death sentence, yeah. and there's a lot of advanced um, research that's being done, and I'm hoping that. It's not for me. Maybe it's for the future uh, generation or my children or your children or grandchildren that will benefit from the, the money that's being raised right now. Yeah, you know what? I read that in, in all the uh, the interviews and all the press has been going around about this, which is great. And I just hope it just expands tenfold and bigger, you know, from, from here on out. You know, I read that, too, that, uh, you know, uh, I believe it was something that you had said that uh, Zoe said it's not just about you. You know, I mean, this is about everybody uh, that's uh, dealing with Parkinson's, not only the individuals, but the other. Uh, families as well so she's doing this not only for her dad who she loves so much but she's doing it for, for for everybody else which i think is just astounding yeah and the michael j fox foundation has been incredible to work with they've set up a lot of the donation pages they've been blogging and um a hundred percent of the money that's raised mm -hmm. through this effort will go to re research directly 100 percent. that's excellent yeah yeah people always love to know where's the money going when they do this kind of thing so that's that's excellent too zoe do you have any other plans like i mean you've got these other fun Fundraising efforts that you you've done already. I mean, do you, do you have any other plans? I know you're just you're 14, right? Yep. I know I know you're you're a freshman in high school. Do you have any plans? Uh, I guess in the future, uh, business wise, or um, you want to go into marketing like Dad here? No, not quite. <laughs> Did I see you shake your head no? She, she actually has her mind made up with exactly what she wants to do when she gets oh, older. Wh what's that? What's that? I want to be a fourth grade teacher. You want to be? Second to fourth grade. Wow. You know what? It, it, people laugh at this, but I always say that if I wasn't on the radio, I'd be a math teacher. Math. I like math. You like math? All yeah. right. You're a little too far away from me to give you a high five, but I'll give you a high five here in a second. I like that. Most, <laughs> most people struggle with it here too. So, so you know, kind of playing up with the, the whole math thing and the numbers thing, we got we to gotta get people more involved with dance shakedonate.com and uh, you know like you had said before sky's the limit from here where do we go from here what, what, what are what are you envisioning Jeff um, as far as the campaign we're mm -hmm. hoping that uh, it appears we're going to be invited on a national television show to help promote the concept and the yes. idea and the effort we're waiting to hear back uh, we received an email this morning that that was still probably going to happen it's yes just hasn't happened yet so don't want to let that out yet well let us know because we yes. want to break the news you absolutely know? Uh, we will absolutely let you know and we're going to continue to uh, push forward and get the word out and, and see how uh, how successful this can be for her vision all right sounds good we, we, we got the the great picture of uh, the loving daughter and the dad we got them up on our website. Uh, you can go to 98q.com. It links you to everything there. It links you to Zoe's story, uh, her video, links you to the donation page as well. Or, of course, you can just go straight to danceshakedonate.com. So we're going to get you on uh, TV. We're going to make you a big star. We're going to uh, uh, we're gonna get Taylor Swift involved and everything. I like this. I like that. We, we, you know what? If, if the whole Taylor Swift thing happens, you know, yeah. We'll get her to come here. Well, you know what? We'll get her to come to Danbury. That would be. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs>
I mean, that would be great. I mean, she's she's just down the road with uh, doing the whole, uh, you know, promoting the album and everything, and Letterman and all these late night shows and everything. So yeah, you know, I think that's uh, I think that's a good idea. I like the way you think. So listen, all the best to you, Jeff, you, and your family and everything uh, going forward. And uh, and I just think you're incredible. I know you, I, I know you've been asked that a million times, but you just can't be more proud of this little girl, huh? Zo Zoe's incredible. The uh, the effort and the um, the passion that she puts forward and everything she does is pretty remarkable and the thoughts that she's put into this and it's just been, it's been amazing. I'm, I'm a lucky dad. You know what? With Halloween being tomorrow, uh, you can go, I, I know 14's that age, sometimes you get away from Halloween. I don't know. <laughs> you can go as anything except a superhero. Okay. You cannot go as a superhero because, because Halloween is supposed to be the time where you pretend to be something that you're not. Did oh, you I see what I did going. there? I, I see where you're going. Nah, there you go. She's an intelligent. She's an intelligent young girl. I, I knew that. Okay, so superhero Zoe Butchin from uh, from uh, Richfield, and of course Jeff. Uh, appreciate you guys being in here, and uh, we'll keep uh, we'll keep tabs on you guys too. Thank you so much for having us. This was awesome, and thank you for supporting. <laughs> you you, you want to shout out to any friends at school or? Um. Yeah, yeah, just everybody. Shout yeah. out to all my friends. There we go. Yeah. Simple enough. <laughs> Danbury's 98Q with traffic now.